¿Qué tal amigos? Bienvenidos a esta nueva clase para aprender español. En la clase de hoy vamos a aprender 30 nuevos verbos con la terminación ER. Hello everyone and welcome to this new lesson for learning Spanish. In today's lesson we'll be learning 30 different verbs with the ending, with the ending ER. My name is Daniel, as you know I'm a Spanish tutor. And this is today's topic. 30 verbos con terminación ER. Now, the first thing we need to remember here is that in Spanish we have verbs in simple form that we call infinitivos. En español hay verbos en su forma simple que llamamos infinitivos. These verbs usually, well, not usually, always have the ending AR, ER, or IR. They have three different endings in simple form, ar, er, ir. Uh, so whenever you want to look for a verb in the dictionary or whenever you want to learn a verb, you usually have to learn it in the simple form uh, that is the infinitivo. Now, in Spanish, we also have people. En español también hay personas. There are persons, which are the personal pronouns. And let me show you these personal pronouns. As you can see here, we have yo, tú, él. I don't know if you can see in the small letters, we have ella and usted. And also we have nosotros, ustedes, and ellos. So those are the three persons singular and the three persons plural. In another video, in the video where I teach you how to use verbs ending with R, I show you how to use like a small, like a, like a technique, a nice technique to learn these different pronouns and the different conjugations using your hands. So this is your plural hand and this is your singular hand. So you can always use them like in pairs of three, you know, like you can say yo, tú, él, and then you have the counterpart, which is plural. So these are more than two persons. So you say, nosotros, ustedes, ellos. One more time, I say, yo, tú, él, nosotros, ustedes, ellos. Now, the form of the verb always changes. In Spanish, uh, it changes according to the person and according to the tense. En español, el verbo tiene que cambiar de acuerdo a la persona y de acuerdo al tiempo. En la clase de hoy, Vamos a aprender cómo utilizar estos verbos en presente. And we will use them in the different, I mean, conjugated in the different, in the different persons, okay? So, this is the form of the er ver verbs, okay? The verbs ending with er, ending in er, such as the verb comer, which is a very simple verb. That means eat, to eat something. We say comer. Yo como, comes, come, comemos, comen, comen. So one more time, you can see here on this portion, you have the singular form and on the in front of them, you have the plural form. So... Basically, the regular verbs always change like this. If you want to see only the ending, because that's the part that we are taking out. La parte que estamos quitando del verbo infinitivo es la terminación er. In this case, we are taking er. In other cases, we can take ar or we can take ir, right? And then according to the person, we change the ending, such as in this case. So if we want to make it like shorter and if you want to remember regular verbs you can remember like this o es e hemos en en so one more time using the verb using the verb comer we say como comes come comemos comen comen o es e hemos en en as easy as that. So those are the the different like verb forms uh, depending on the person. So now the important part of this lesson is learning new verbs, right? Now before we start, let me tell you, 
we will check 30 different verbs. The first 20 verbs are regular verbs ending with er. The last 10 verbs are irregular verbs ending with er. So I suggest you check the different forms of the verb when they are irregular because they change, they don't follow this pattern, okay? So, well, some of them are regular, some of them are irregular. You will notice because the verb in capital letters will change to blue color, and also you will have a boot icon showing that these verbs are irregular. Los verbos que vamos a estudiar ahora pueden ser regulares o irregulares. Por eso sugiero que te fijes en el color del verbo porque va a cambiar a color azul y también que te fijes en las diferentes formas que toma el verbo irregular. So there we go. Comenzamos. Comer. Comemos pan y leche. We eat bread and milk. Leer. Leo libros de arte y ciencia. I read books on arts and science. Creer. No creo tener clase mañana. I don't think I, I'm, I'm having class tomorrow. Romper. No puedes romper esa hoja. You can't tear out that uh, sheet of paper. Beber. ¿Bebes vino o cerveza? Do you drink wine or beer? Aprender. Aprendemos idiomas en la escuela. We learn languages at school. Responder. ¿Respondes estas preguntas? Do you answer, to this, do you answer these questions? Ver. ¿Ves ese edificio? Do you see that building? Correr. Todos los días corro en el parque. Every day I run in the park. Vender. En la farmacia venden medicina. They sell medicine at the drugstore. So again, all these verbs that you just saw were verbs, regular verbs ending with er. And as you notice, well, the example sentences, sometimes we use yo, sometimes we use tú, sometimes we use él. So, Sometimes we use nosotros, and accordingly, we need to change the form of the verb. So one more time, the verbs ending with er have to change to o, es, e, hemos, en, en. So once again, taking the easiest verb, which is comer, we say como, comes, come, comemos, comen, comen. So let's see more verbs. Let's let's study more verbs with er. These are also also regular verbs. Comprender. Ahora comprendo mejor el español. Now I understand Spanish better. Prometer. Los abuelos prometen regalos para los niños. Grandparents promise to give presents to the children. Esconder. Los perros esconden su comida en la tierra. Dogs hide food underground. Meter. La maestra mete sus libros en la bolsa. The teacher puts her, her books into the bag. Escoger. ¿Escoges un postre para mí? Can you choose some dessert for me? Temer. Muchos niños temen a la oscuridad. A lot of children are afraid of darkness. Deber. Debes comer más frutas y verduras. You must eat more fruits and vegetables. So as you notice, these are also regular verbs. And now we are going to check some irregular verbs ending with er. Okay, ending in er. Eh, los verbos que siguen a continuación 
son verbos que también terminan con er. The infinitive form ends with er. However, they are irregular. So you will see the different forms of the verb uh, when they are irregular. So I suggest you pay attention to the verb forms. In another video, I will teach you how to deal with irregular verbs. Right now, let's remember these forms like just provisionally. Tener. Tengo tres hermanos. I have three brothers. Ser. Nosotros somos de Colombia. We are from Colombia. Volver. ¿Vuelves mañana? Do you come back tomorrow? Poder. ¿Puedes comprar pan, por favor? Can you buy some bread, please? Conocer. No conocemos al nuevo estudiante. We don't know the new student. Crecer. Los niños en esta escuela crecen felices. Children at this school are growing happily. They grow happily. Poner. Cada noche pongo mis libros en la mochila. Every night I put my books into the backpack. Hacer. ¿Haces ejercicio en la noche? Do you do exercise at night? Perder. Si no caminamos rápido, perdemos el tren. If we don't walk fast, we'll miss the train. Now, this verb can mean, it means two things in Spanish. It can mean like lose, like in English, sorry, lose or miss. Este verbo tiene dos significados. Agradecer. Agradezco mucho tu ayuda. I really appreciate your help. I'm really thankful for your help. Okay, so as you noticed, as you, uh, as you checked in Spanish, uh, we have regular and irregular verbs. Uh, however, in the in their original form, they will always end with ar, er, or ir. So uh, I invite you to check this other video. Like you will see here in the description, you will see the, 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 the link to another video of verbs ending with ar. And I hope you find it useful, OK? Uh, if you like this video, you can subscribe to this channel. If you want me to make a, a, sesh, a lesson on any specific topic in Spanish, well, you can give a comment. And uh, please like this video so I can continue uploading uh, other lessons. Si te gustó este video, por favor, no olvides suscribirte al canal. También puedes darle un like. Y también puedes darme un comentario para que haga alguna clase sobre un tema en específico en español que te gusta. Now tell me, do you think irregular verbs are difficult? Do you think that irregular verbs are also, in a way, regular? which are the most difficult verbs that you have to learn in Spanish. Thank you very much. Muchas gracias. Hasta luego.